yellow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cleaning video. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for spending some time with me. Happy Monday, <laughs> the dreaded day of the week, right? Oh man, it's a new week. It's going to be a good week. It's going to be a good week. I hope your week started off well. And we're going to be doing some nice cleaning in today's video, wiping things down, getting things washed, dusting, vacuuming, just doing it all. Okay, so I hope you are down for the ride. I hope this brings you a ton of cleaning motivation. I'm starting off with the bedding here. I just removed all of the linen. I'm also going to be removing the mattress covers and I'm going to be washing those. This is just some baking soda here. We're going to be seasoning these bad boys, okay? Um, dropping a lot of baking, not a lot, but a good amount of baking soda on. And I just like to do this at least every month. It's, it's a good idea, in my opinion, to do at least every month. But I drizzle the baking soda on and I just kind of smooth out like the chunky portions. And I let this sit on here for a good while. So at least an hour. But um, I did this in our bedroom and then I'm going to head over in son's bedroom and do the same thing. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Without you, I would be nothing No air would flow through my lungs Without you, I'd be forgotten Nobody's singing my song I'm safe as long as you're with me At least you're here So I did the best that I could with these fans. I do eventually want to get like the big ladder in here. Um, hubby's going to have to do that for me. And then um, so that I'm able to like reach it really, really well and just like really dust this thing down. Well, dust them down really well. Just get, you know, like a bucket and um, some pine saw and a rag and just really clean in between everything. But for now, this is how I'm doing it. I just had my little step stool because that's how I could reach. And I just used a nice clean Swiffer and I got a lot of the dust bunnies off as best I could. 
Y'all, we had an amazing weekend. So the last several days, it has been just the weather's been amazing in the 60s and we definitely got out to enjoy it. Um, hubby actually had Saturday off, which is a very rare occurrence. So we definitely took advantage of that. Um, son has been going to the park almost pretty much like every day this week. We've been kind of spoiling him with that. But this weekend, we um, we took him to um, like uh, several different parks. Like every day we were going to a different park and we went downtown. Saturday, we were at the park. We got there at like 10 o'clock and didn't leave until like 4 p.m. So we were at the lake and um, I like packed us you know like a little picnic same thing on Sunday too we went to a different park that was near downtown Denver and um, we just like saw the geese and we we're walking around and there's these parks are huge they're like really really big and so they had several different playgrounds at the park so we hit up all the playgrounds and he was just having himself a ball we had a ball um, like I said we just had like I packed um, you know, blankets. So we sat on the blankets and, you know, just like ate some sandwiches and just had a good old time. He was playing with other kids. And like I said, just hitting up a bunch of parks and we walked around, we got some good miles in and it was just like a really fun time. But let me tell y'all what happened. So son has been going through this phase where he's been saying no, right? Back to mom and dad when we tell him to do something. And we've had plenty of conversations. He's had plenty of times at time outs, um, you know, taking his toys away, just like um, the forms of discipline that we, we do in our household. And so he knows that he's not supposed to be saying no, but he had, when I tell y'all a breakdown, I mean a breakdown, like the worst one that he's had um, before. And he did not want to leave the park. And when he cries, like has like a meltdown, he does this thing like where he coughs and it's kind of like he's choking, you know? And he also um, like, <gasps> like that type of breathing. And it's funny because I remember one time we were actually in urgent care when he had a fever. I'm just showing y'all here. We had a quick lunch break. And so um, I just made him a really quick lunch and we ate that. And so, um, but the doctor was like, I've never seen like a toddler, like, does he always cry like that? Like, I've never seen a toddler cry like that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, when he's like really upset, he does it. And so like everybody <laughs> everybody was staring at us like the parents were staring at us kids were staring at us and this is like this was a really busy park and when we took him like away from the park we went and sat on a bench and we explained to him you know like listen we're gonna go home those are your options like you do not say no to mom and dad and so he just kept on and we were a good like 20 minutes away from the car walking and he wanted me to carry him and I told him no I said you can either sit in the stroller or you can walk and so the entire way back he was just doing this <gasps> puffing and 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 crying and um you know acting like he couldn't breathe and you know I asked him if he wanted some water he didn't want it but it just made me realize like um just like the different type of like parenting skills and things that there are and it made me like cubby and I were having the conversation of it made me um it reminded me of like how different um things like, I'm just going to say it. So I don't believe in, I will never spank my child. That's just not a form of discipline that I, um, that I like to do. Um, that's not my parenting skill. And I remember being like super timid, like about this, especially around like family and friends, because there's a lot of people that disagree with that, you know, and y'all, I mind the business that is mine. Like you raise your child how you want to, it's your household. But me personally, like, I, we just, I don't think that's an effective uh, form of discipline. I was whooped as a child. Okay. We call them, we called them whoopings. Um, I was spanked, um, all of that. And so I just think that there are different ways of disciplining your, you know, our, our son. And that is the way that I prefer to do things, take things away, um, time out. But I also want to explain to my child what is happening and why it is happening. You know, you are in trouble. You are in time out because of this. I'm not your friend. I am your parent and you're going to respect me as your parent, but also like you don't get to do the things that you want to do when we tell you to do something or if you know we tell you it's time to go it is time to go like you're going to respect mom and dad and that's how it is and i guess the term now would be gentle parenting you know that's um 
the the form of I guess of, of parenting discipline whatever you want to call it that you know that we kind of go by and I remember family and friends like when he was younger and things like that saying oh he's going to be such a mama's boy and things like that and that just kind of like really affected me you know um negatively and now it's just like I I don't give a darn I don't give a darn what people think of you know what I mean of like how we raise our son I know we are raising him in a great household I want him to be able to come to me when he has a problem I want him to be able to talk to me openly when the, when something is wrong or when he's experiencing difficulties in his life I want to raise him to be you know a god-fearing man I want him to to be a kind, humble human being. I want him to, you know, have, um, have raise a wonderful family of his own and kids and, you know, have a wonderful wife and a household. And I want him to have like morals and faith and all those things. And so it's just like, you know what I mean? Don't do what's best for your family and not care what other people think. And I was just like, I was telling hubby that in the car, I was like, I, I, I could see people were like rubbernecking, you know, like staring at us and things like that. And it's just like, he's a child, it's gonna happen. Every child is different. And it's okay. Like it is okay. And yeah, so anyway, so the next day, it was it was fine. Like everything was fine. Like I said, we had several conversations with him. And he definitely it's it was cute, because he actually did apologize to us. But yeah, Anyways, so I just wanted to put my little my little two cents, my little spiel in, but let's go ahead and get these um, shelves nice and wiped down. cleaning the shelves I was going back and forth and back and forth to the sink I used both the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink to get the plants nice and watered down so I was super happy with that today is it's supposed to be 67 degrees as the high but super super windy the last yesterday it was really really windy too when we were at the park but um I'm 
really excited about that and I'm going to get out for a good jog today. So I'm happy and excited about that also. But I just wanted to get the couch nice and wiped down and just like dust it down with the vacuum cleaner. So that's exactly what I did. I do want to spend more time in this room. I know I've talked about that before, but I've been trying to, you know, slowly just spend more time in here. I love this room so much. This is probably my favorite room in the house. Um, I enjoy the basement also, but it does get cold there and y'all in the summertime spiders okay and no ma'am <laughs> I hate spiders um, but spraying it with the the spider spray that we have that's actually been helping a lot and now that it's warming up I definitely need to do that but this room I just I love it I call it the plant room I just I love it so much it has beautiful natural light during the day especially in the morning and it's just like serene sitting in here you know just like no TV let son play and he likes to play in here too he has his little basketball hoop in here that he loves he plays basketball like every day y'all in here so it's so cute he loves playing it with dad but um you know just like chill in here and just like watch him play read a book, drink your coffee, just, just, you know, just feel good. And so, yeah, I just, I really, really love this room a lot. I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there. Cause I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? It's time we stop tipping on our toes What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know what you know you want it Afraid to let it show And I know you need it Why don't we let it grow? Why don't we let it Why, why don't we let it I think I do. I was gonna say, I don't know why Sun's mattress cover always takes so long to dry. Like, I think I'm going to 
get another one, like two of each, one for uh, our bed and then one for his bed. And then that way I can just throw one in the wash and then I can just put another one on. I don't have to wait until it's dry to, you know, to get the sheets on and everything, because that's what I was waiting for. Um, you know, after this, after I was done with our excuse me, our bed, we went down for a nap, you know? And so I was just trying to get this done early in the morning so I can get everything nice and washed, get the linens changed and get everything nice and cleaned before his nap. Um, but I think that'd be a good idea just to get another mattress cover. But I was going to say his takes longer to dry than ours does. And he has a full size bed and our, ours is a king. And I think it's because this one, his is a lot thicker to protect, you know, obviously I think I'm pretty sure it's a his, um, my in-laws got this for him. So I'm not sure if it's like a specific like toddler one, you know, to help with, you know, accidents and things like that. But his is a lot thicker than ours is. And so it takes a little bit longer to dry. I actually had to do two different cycles on it, um, drying cycles to get it completely dry, but I got it done. So that's good. I got everything nice and vacuumed up and the mattresses are deodorized. I'm super happy with this. I do eventually, I don't know what day... I'm going to try, I eventually want to get all of the curtains down, like the curtains down, and I want to wash them all. Just dedicate a whole day to that, get them nice and washed and put back up. I'll probably have to do that on a day that like hubby's home so that he can help me take them down off all the rods and everything. But just get like the sheer curtains in our room, son's bedroom, um, the one in the, that's right over the sink um, in the kitchen. I think that's really, that's it. All the rest of the blind, oh, the one in the spare, the ones in the spare bedroom too and in the living room. Everywhere else, all of the window coverings are actual blinds. So, um, but yeah, that is definitely something that I want to do as well. You know, just going into, into spring, like one video at a time, I just, I really want to get things done and get things clean that like you just don't clean on an everyday basis. And so that's definitely on my list of things to do.
that's the one thing after you do the the baking soda seasoning on your mattresses you are going to get baking soda on the floor for sure <laughs> so um i did vacuum up you saw me move son's bed and then i just vacuumed behind his bed and underneath and then around it as well and i'm going to do the same thing in our room also i'm going to show you guys give you guys a little close-up of the floor like you know it just it drops on the mattress and then when you're i mean drops on the floor and then when you're vacuuming it up to you know you push a little bit off of the um of the mattress but it's just a really good way to deodorize your mattress and get rid of you know smells and um you know just just funk like you're sleeping eight plus hours a day if you get a good amount of sleep and so there's hairs and body odor and sweat and everything else that's embedded in your mattress and so deodorizing them seasoning them is just like a really good way to keep them nice and cleaned <laughs> the bedroom vacuumed up and then I also have some laundry going as well so I'm gonna end out the day with that but the bedroom is nice and cleaned thank you so much for being here I will definitely see you on the next one bye